In this video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between odds ratio and risk ratio, which are common measures of association used in clinical studies. So my name is Randerson Cardozo. I'm a cardiologist in Boston, Massachusetts. And in this channel, in the Meta-Analysis Academy, we discuss how you can publish systematic reviews and meta-analysis independently on your own, how you can publish impactful research that can help your career. So if you're interested in this content, consider hitting the like and the subscribe button and stay tuned for the content in the Meta-Analysis Academy. So whenever someone does a clinical trial or a cohort study, an epidemiological study, Study, basically a clinical question being answered in the format of a research study, there will be a measure of association that's generally trying to quantify the relationship between exposure or intervention and the outcome. These measures of association, there are many of them. There could be risk ratio, odds ratio, mean difference if it's a continuous outcome, and so many others. The most commonly used measures of association for binary outcomes, so things like mortality or stroke, are binary outcomes. Patients can either have or not have have these outcomes. So it's really you only have a yes or no option for the outcome of mortality. And when we're thinking about binary outcomes, we can use many different measures of association, but the most commonly used ones are odds ratio and the risk ratio. And we're going to understand in this video what's the difference between them. So let's assume that this clinical trial or this study is happening and you are studying patients with pulmonary embolism and you're evaluating a new drug to treat these patients and you want to compare that new drug with heparin and your outcome is mortality in this population. It's a therapeutic study. You want to do a randomized controlled trial and follow these patients out for one year. So it's a simple study that has sort of this schematic. You have patients who receive a new drug, some patients receive heparin, and you're going to follow them to see who dies and who survives. So this simple design, you follow these patients, and then this is what happens. After some period of time, a hundred patients in the new drug group died out of a thousand, and in the heparin group, 200 patients died out of a thousand. It's a very high mortality here, just to illustrate an example. So if we think about the risk of dying in each group, the risk of dying in the new drug group was 10%. The risk of dying in the heparin group was 20%. So this is a, a risk. A risk is the number of events divided by the number of patients that could have had that event. In this case, 100 died in the new drug group and 1,000 could have died. 1,000 were at risk of dying. The risk in the new drug group is 10% and the risk in the heparin group is 20%. We could even calculate a difference, but we're going to focus on the risk ratio. So the risk ratio or relative risk is simply dividing the risk in the new drug group divided by the risk in the heparin group. So it's a ratio. You divide the risk in the new drug group, which is 10%, by the risk in the heparin group, which is 20%. So you get a risk ratio of 0.5 or 50%. But that just just uh, shows you the risk. If you wanted to, you could uh, go over this association between drug therapy and mortality using odds as well. And to understand that, you need to first understand what is an odds. Risk is the number of events divided by the patients who could have had the event those who had it plus those who were at risk but did not have it. And odds is different. Odds is the number of events divided by the number of patients who do not have the event. So this is easier to understand related to gambling or dice throwing. When you throw a dice, for example, the risk of finding the number five is one out of six. Out of all the options for numbers, which are six, only one of them is number five. So the risk of having number five is 17% or one in six. But the odds is different. The odds is the number of events, in this case five, five can only is only one number, divided by the number of non-events, the possibilities of not getting the number five, which would be one, two, three, four and six. So it's one out of five, it's one to five. So that's the odds. So we could calculate the odds of dying in our study. 
the risk of dying was 10% in the new drug group. It was 20% in the heparin group. But the odds is one in nine on the new drug group and one in four in the heparin group. So odds is the number of events in the new drug group, it was 100 divided by the number of non-events. In this case, it was 900. So 100 divided by 900 is 0 0.11 or 1 to 9. The odds in the heparin group are 1 out of 4. So 0 0.25, okay? And then you can just do an odds ratio where you divide the odds between both groups. In this case, it's 0 0.44. So that's the difference between risk ratio and odds ratio. Risk ratio, also called relative risk, is the ratio of risks between both groups. Odds ratio is the ratio of odds. What are odds? It's the number of events divided by the number of non-events. And this is really important for you to understand realize how odds ratio tend to have a more impressive effect than dividing risk okay so risk ratio in this case was 0 0.5 and odds ratio was 0 0.44 every time you work with odds it tends to show, it tends to appear to be more extreme. All right, so it's important to understand the difference, what risk ratio is measuring and what an odds ratio is measuring. If you want to learn about new content related to evidence-based medicine, related to research, to meta-analysis, to systematic reviews, leave your comment here in the section below and I'd be happy to consider uh, the topic that you want to learn about. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.